Okay, so here is lot A, Batman, bronze and copper. Two uh, four books, issue 277, 347, 352, 376. There's a grade. $20 is the asking price. Most of it is this book right here. The most valuable one. You can see, pretty sharp. It's like a little light bend right there. Okay. As most of my raw books, none has been pressed or cleaned. Can this book be high after a clean and a press? Pretty sure. But I'm not gonna do it. 347, this one. The front look like a 92. But there's some issue right there. Once again, if you can press it, fix it, can it be an 8.5? Sure. 352 very sharp 92 and 376 I give it an 8 mostly because of that little Tears right there, okay. If the tail wasn't there, I would give it like a 9 2. Lot B, four books. You have Son of Satan, issue one, Marvel Spotlight 17 and 22, and then Hellstorm 1. $25 asking price for the four books. Here's issue one. Really nice book, and let me show you why it is only a seven right there. Okay, there's some abrasion, some lines. That's it. Gonna be higher, seven five, sure, but 17, nothing special, 5.0. I bought this and that one for the Marvel value stamps many many years ago but it's too nice to cut out the stamps so I was able to find worst condition book. Now this one here have a spine roll that's why the cover kind of shown off like that but it's a I give it a 3.5 okay nothing special. And then issue one here, this one is very clean, can it be a 9.8? Hard to tell, it's one of those really tough covers to grade because of the stock that they use, but as you can see, not much of any flaw with this book, okay? Okay, so here we have lot C, 19 issues of X Factor, including this issue here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, and then 15. Go all the way down, and the last issue is 41. The grade range is between 5 and a 9, 2, okay? The average grade, I would say, is probably like 8-ish. Asking price, $65. Issue 1 is about a 9, okay? Very clean book. I'm not trying to go through real quickly uh, after it shows issue six because that's the most important. Five and six, as you can see. Issue one. Issue two is about, I think, an eight. Nothing special, okay? Issue 3 Probably in the 8-ish range as well 
your four. This one I gave it like a seven, seven five because of that little corner crunch right there. Okay. Now issue five. The structure wise is very nice. The only thing that you should notice is there is um, ink transfer. Okay, so you can see in the white area, you see spot of ink transfer as well as on the top okay it's not foxing it's just ink transfer but as you can see the corners and edge nice and sharp the spine the spine have more ticks on the back cover than on the front cover okay you can see right there that's why I give it a 9-2 but the corner edge nice now issue 6 is about an 8.5 okay there's a couple of spine takes little corner crunch there barely but little flaws there and then that right there on the bottom right corner okay I cover decent and clean issue seven this one here have a little I think smudge right here fingerprint I think eight Ten is about uh eight point five nine oh. We have a non breaking bend right there at the corner. Nothing none of these books have been pressed or clean, okay? I'm sure those that watch my video over the past year with all the sales, you can see just about everything had not been pressed or clean. This one have a mock jewel insert, okay? So if that matters. This one does have it. Um, it also has some foxing. Okay, you can see light evidence of foxings right there on the bottom edge. I will give it like a seven five. Okay, because of the overall flaw of that book. Issue twenty one. Okay, I'm gonna try to go through them real quick now because now the rest of the books are not you know key of any sort really. A lot of these, because um, of the dark back cover, and many of them, I bought this you know, in a collection many years ago, and they were not stored in bags and board. So over time, they got uh, you know stacking rubbing that you see because of the back uh, the back cover. I think the only thing that was. In here that was my book was issue one issue 35 this is the worst uh, condition book of this lot it has a big crunch right here you can see I give this one a five okay and issue 41 last one Lot D is Hulk, King Size, and Annual. Issue 2, 3, 4, and 6, as you can see right there, the grade range from 8 to 8.5. $75 is the asking price. Here we go. Really nice looking square bound right here. Okay. You have a, a couple little tears on the edge, like right there. Okay, that's what kept it from going higher but as you can see back cover very clean I think the spine have a couple rub right there like little flaws right there okay 
that's the reason for the 8.5 issue 3 very nice as well pretty sharp looking square bound a big reason why this book is uh, at this grade is can you see it it's got a tiny spot of moisture damage right there right, right there and then there's one more somewhere there there you go so there's two spots okay issue four I give an 8.5 mainly because of that up there okay and the light sun shadow okay issue 6 this one really poorly cut and miswrap okay I give this one an 8.5 as well that's where most of the flaws are the sun shadow right there up there as well okay okay so here's lot E 5 action comics silver age 356, 358, 363, 364, and 367 and that's the grade asking price 100 for the 5 books First up is this issue here. The front cover looks like it's a 9-2. Okay, solid looking book. Look at that. But let me show you why I only give an 8-5. The tanning. And this right here. If I have to guess, there may have been a price stamp right here. And then over time, as a cover tan, it fell off. So you get that little white spot there, but it's not any kind of moisture damage, okay? You can see there's no loss of gloss there, there's no residue of anything, but I can't imagine any other reason to have that little rectangle white shape there. But the structure of the books, 9-2, but I give it 8-5, okay, because of that, and the tanning. This one here is a 9, mainly because of the crease right there okay now this book I had pressed I think I pressed this gosh 10 years ago but for sure it's one of those light color breaking crease that doesn't go away notice how white that back cover is okay this one 363 I give it a 92 very nice book the rubbing right here at the at the spine that's why it's a 92 okay you can't see it that much on the front but if you look on the side you can see it so just a few little soft spot here and there but rest of the book really nice sharp back cover now this one here is a 9, 364. Let me show you why it's a 9, even though it looks a lot nicer, right? At first glance, it looks like a 9, 4-ish, but there's a light color brick increase right there, okay? It's very light. Okay, last is 367. I give it a 9 as well. It has a date stamp right here. And if I have to guess, the person that stamp it, stamp every copy and then slide it over each other. And that's how the ink got on the back. So that's my guess, okay? That must be the ink from the issue below it, beneath it. And that's lot E. Next, lot F, you have these five action comics. As you can see, issue 370, 394, 395, 397, and 398. And the grade, 
asking price 100 for the five books here we go Not a new Adams cover, okay. Three ninety five. This one here has a little crease right here in the white area that you can't see very well. And then it just have a few other flaws, okay? Nothing major. Definitely have not been pressed or clean. There's a couple of uh, indentation bend on the side, right edge of the book, so right there. You can see. But yeah, nothing major. Clean back cover. Issue three ninety seven. It's a 9.2, really nice book. Let me show you where the bulk of the floor is right there. Okay. A little rug down there on the bottom left. And just a little, you know, spine ticks here and there. Just enough to keep it out of the 9.4, in my opinion. 3.98 is another 9. Decent book, just get way too many little spine takes for me to give it a higher grade, okay? But rest of the book is pretty sharp. Lot G, the last four action comics books, four books, 399, 400, 401, 419. And that's the grades asking price 80 bucks for the four books here we go issue 400 issue 401 not a new Adams cover okay last issue 419. This book is really nice. It looked like a 9.4, but let me show you why it's only a 9. Sharp, right? Right here. See that? It's like little scratches or puncture on the, right at the spine, right there. And that's it. The rest of the book is very sharp. Okay, lot H is five Doctor Strange book, 171, 72, 175, 176, 183, and that's a grade. Okay, asking price 120 for the five books. Here we go. really sharp looking book and none of these books have been pressed or clean let me point out the flaws for you okay look at that one inch crease right there a little quarter inch crease up there 
and then um, there's a production tear at the edge right there but just gotta be careful okay don't uh, do something that will knock that piece off and then there's a little puncture right there other than that the rest of the book is very sharp this one here really sharp looking book let me show you why it is only a 7.5 really sharp edges and cover until you get to the corner not sure what happened there the little corner missing right there same thing on the back cover look at that yeah could it be production related it's dirty this is just dirt okay I'm sure you, you can clean it up real easy but that's it the rest of the book is like a 9.4 it's a shame of those two little missing pieces this one is a 7.0 most of the flaws are right there on the top edge and right on the corner, little corner crease and then you got a couple of spine ticks, okay? not many, but clean back cover One seventy six. I give it another seven zero. Once again, the overhang, soft corner, soft corner, soft corner. Okay. Last is. This one, the front look deceiving, look super high grade, right? Look at that. The front look like a 9.4 until you see this spot right here. It's a uh, evidence of a bundle, you know, how um, the books were shipped. The last book in the bundle, you got the bundle indentation right there and then the back cover. Okay, get jacked up by that bundle. Okay, yeah, that's why it's a six. Here is six individual issue of Doctor Strange, as you can see right there. Two copies of 170, 177, 178, 179, 182, and the grade and the price. Okay, so let's take a look. First up. Copy A, 8.5, beautiful book, really sharp, let me show you where the flaws are right there, a little bit bigger than half an inch, okay, the crease, and then there's a couple of spine ticks as you can see, nothing major, okay, back cover, fairly clean, nice yeah a little sun shadow okay issue 170 the nicer copy the 9.0 like a little scratch right there a little softness right there but as you can see really sharp shiny copy slight sun shadow on the top edge as well but overall as you can see a little bit nicer than the other copy here is 177 I give it an 8.5 let me show you why this book is beautiful really sharp right there the smudge okay the fingerprint smudge if that was not there this book would have been a 9-2 easily if not even nicer okay because the rest of the book as you can see sharp 178 the nicest copy of this series here look at this book look at how sharp 
razor sharp. I bought this many, many years ago on the CGC forum, maybe back in 2009. Yeah. Okay, for 179, even though I gave it an 8.5, it was so close to be a 9 for me, but in the end, I couldn't give it a 9. Okay, let me show you a beautiful book and point out the flaws. Okay, there's like a, a little corner crease right here. Okay, it's not big, it's less than half an inch, but it's there. And if that was it, I would have given this book a 9. But, right here. Okay, you got another little corner crease down there, however small, it's like a quarter inch, but if that was not there, to me, this book is a 9. Can this thing still be a 9? With uh, those two little flaws and then a, a bunch of little spine ticks, okay? Nothing major, but 8.5, it is 182. It also gives this one an 8.5. Most of the flaws are on the back cover. Um, I did not press this book, but I'm pretty sure whoever owned it before me did press it. Um, let me show you why. I only gave it an 8.5. It will show up maybe with the light. Perhaps not. But anyhow, um, right here, like you can see it, but there is this corner was crunch, okay, and it was pressed so that you can't really see it. There you go. Okay, the color breaking fiber is there in that big corner. So that's why I gave it an 8.5, even though the front looked like a 9294. Last but not least is some Silver Age Hulk individual issue and then I will put the, the two issue 199 and 200 together in one lot $25 lot G okay but first 103 8.5 $50 right there little puncture hole scratch it's a soft corner right there couple spine takes but other than that very nice book very sharp nice and white back cover okay this one here 105 also 8.5 90 dollar asking price show you soft corner right there a little bit of softness right there on the edge like creases, a couple spine takes, but that's it. Okay, my cover that's just dirty. Okay, none of these books have been pressed or clean. Issue 107, I give it an 8.0, little date uh, writing right there. Right there is it? What is an eight? It's the corner crease, small corner crease, as well as that one inch long color breaking crease, and then a couple of spine ticks. Okay, and the sun shadow on the back cover. All of that equal eight point zero. Issue one eleven. 8.5, $80, blemish, top left corner, right there. A couple of spine ticks, okay. Overall, very nice. This book is really close to a 9.0. It's also a light sun shadow on the bottom edge. Issue 116, 
I gave it a 9 or 9.2. $65 asking price. This one's really nice. The hard part about grading for this between a 9 and 9.2 is that there's a little blemish right there. See that? Right by the ankle, the purple area of hook. Not sure what that is. Little abrasion. But that's the reason. If that wasn't there, this book would be a 9.4. In, in my opinion. Now, 199 and 200 to get a 25, but most of the value is in the high grade 200, okay? Because this one here is like a 5. Nothing fancy here. Got a couple corner creases there. The edge is kind of wavy, little tears. Corner, little corner crease right there, non breaking. Can this thing be higher with the press? Sure, but does it matter? Not really. So here's a 200. Beautiful book. Okay, sharp. The white spine kind of hides a lot of the spine ticks, but that's why it is a 9.4. Okay, it looks a lot nicer. But you can't really see it. It's there. The spine takes a whole bunch of them. Anyhow, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Email me as soon as you decide because things can go very fast. Bye bye.